Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. Uh, back as requested, we're going to be doing the Batman Arkham City benchmark once again, this time on NVIDIA hardware. So I'm going to be running the NVIDIA 355.11 drivers on Ubuntu and the 355.82 drivers on Windows, the absolute latest that I can get my hands on. We're using the same setup as before, Wine staging with the CSMT patch enabled 1.7.51 against the native Windows experience. So let's go ahead and see the results. A quick reminder is that Wine does not support DirectX 11 features, so throughout this we will have it off. At minimum settings, we are seeing a 130 frames per second difference, which is about a 53% difference in total performance on average. Still quite large. Now maxing everything out at 1080p, we are seeing about 103 frames per second difference, which equates to about a 51% difference in performance in total. So starting off the side-by-side -side comparison, we have Wine staging on the left and the Windows 10 native experience on the right. So right off the bat, we can see that the Nvidia side of things has a higher frame rate off the bat compared to our previous AMD experience. This is due to the AMD drivers not performing as well as they can in OpenGL as compared to Nvidia's efforts in this area. This is to note that this is the 1080p maximum settings we are going through here. Well, maximum as far as I can push the wine settings. Both settings on each side are kept the same. I did make the mistake of forgetting to turn off the autofocus on my camera, so I apologize for that. It loses focus here and there once in a while, but not enough to lose most of the percentage of difference that we want to see here. So we're definitely seeing on average about a 50% difference in performance with the native experience, of course, naturally leading. I was hoping the native I was hoping the wine performance would be a lot better than this, but even with the very well done NVIDIA drivers, it's still incapable of ke keeping up. So the wine developers, specifically code weavers, really have a lot to do in terms of performance. I hope they do focus on better performance for DirectX 10 and 11 in the future. Alright, summary time. Now it's definitely an improvement over the AMD experience that we saw before. Earlier, it was about a 70% difference on average, while this time with the NVIDIA side, we're only seeing about a 50% difference on average. Still though, this is pretty bad performance overall, considering that NVIDIA has the absolute best Linux graphics drivers that are out there. This is undisputable. To top that off, we are seeing that at given times with native performance in the past, the NVIDIA drivers were even sometimes able to go above and beyond the Windows performance, even though it was only a little bit. So it's pretty clear here that the DirectX 9 support in terms of performance on Wine is still pretty in a bad state. I can't even run Batman Arkham Origins either and I'd like to benchmark, benchmark that. So with all that said, Wine Gaming isn't where it should be at right now, especially if they're starting to ship their focus to DirectX 10 and 11. If they can't get performance up at least another 25%, we are going to be struggling quite a bit into the future. Hopefully more native titles come our way though, so we don't have to worry about this too much. If I made any mistakes, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you found this video useful to you in one way or another, and thank you for watching.